What's up boys, today we're showing you guys the easiest and the best players to trade for in NBA 2K23 franchise mode. This is obviously going to be for next gen and old gen. But real quick before we hop in, make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe. I plan on doing more of these videos in the future, so also turn on those post notifications. Now let's hop in, I have one point guard, one shooting guard, I have two small forwards, two power forwards, and two centers for you guys. All right, let's go to front office, let's go to trades, and then we're gonna go to the trade finder. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what you guys can get for some of these guys. I'm not gonna be making trades from scratch, although I definitely recommend making trades from scratch rather than using the trade finder, because I'm sure you guys can get a much better value if you guys do not use the trade finder. But we're starting off here with the point guard, we're going to the Atlanta Hawks, and I'm going with DeJounte Murray. I love DeJounte Murray. I think he's a great pickup for you guys here. So we're the Warriors right now. Although obviously this is this can work with any team really. But uh, you guys can see for you guys can get DeJounte Murray and Click Capella for Draymond Green, Jordan Poole. Although I probably won't trade away Jordan Poole. But also you guys also want to focus on contract at the same time though, because he's on a one-year deal and so is Draymond Green. And you're getting DeJounte Murray, who's on a two-year deal, and also Clint Capella. You guys can also trade away guys like James Wiseman and Dante right here for DeJounte Murray and then some other bump. But DeJounte Murray is a great pickup for James Wiseman, who is young, I will say. He is young, but he's on a one-year deal. And then Dante right here is a 75. You're probably not going to use him anyway. He's already 25. So I think it's a great deal right here for DeJounte Murray, who's only 26 still and on a two-year deal. But again, I definitely recommend making your own custom trades because you guys can probably get a little bit more value instead of giving them maybe Dante or something. You guys can give him like a second round pick instead or something like that if you guys want to keep Dante. Now for the shooting guard, we're actually going to go with a rookie here. And I'm, a, I'm pretty high on this guy. I'm not going to lie. I liked him going into the draft, but this is actually going to be a rookie from the Pacers, Benedict Matherin. This guy is 6'7", he's a shooting guard, and he can shoot very, very well. He's a great guy that's going to be very, very fun to develop. If you're looking for a fun rookie to try to develop, Benedict Matherin is your guy, for real. He's super tall, he can shoot, he can finish, he can do pretty much everything on the court, man. Benedict Matherin, great project right here. But you guys can trade Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, probably wouldn't trade those guys. But otherwise, you guys can get rid of like Jordan Poole, Draymond Green, James Wiseman, Clay Thompson. Although I, I'm sure if you guys do a custom deal, you can trade away a different type of guy. Although I don't think giving away Clay Thompson is the worst idea considering he's costing a lot of money and he's 32 years old, only 83 overall. He's not going to develop at all. But uh, I probably wouldn't, still wouldn't trade Clay Thompson. But I'm, I'm just using the words as an example, by the way. But if you guys can, pick up Benedict Matherin. This guy is amazing. I am super, super high on this guy. He doesn't have any badges right now, but that's because he's a rookie. And uh, yeah, he's super tall, 6'7", he weighs 210, and he can shoot very, very well. He's got B+, plus, I think, three-point shooting, so he's got to be your guy, man. Next up for small forward, we're going to the Detroit Pistons here, and we are taking a look at Sadiq Bey. So Sadiq Bey, he's 23 years old, he's an 80 overall, he's got 10 badges. I like Sadiq, Sadiq Bey a lot, so he's young, for sure. He is really, really cheap as well. I mean, it's a one-year deal, I will say, but it is 2.96 mil, really, really easy for the first year on the, uh, on the cap space, but... Like right here, you guys can give away a 27 first round pick right here, which is only one and a half stars. And then James Wiseman, who, you know, James Wiseman, he's 75 overall. He's super, super young. He is costing a lot, but Sadiq Bey is already pretty much a stud, man. He's only 23 years old. He's an 80 overall. He can develop pretty, pretty well. So I like Sadiq Bey a lot. I think he is definitely, this is probably a trade I would do is James Wiseman. I'm looking to kind of trade James Wiseman if I was the Warriors, but... Um, you know, again, you guys can do this with any team. If you guys are out on the Rockets or whatever, there's still pieces that you guys can trade and make your own custom trades. You guys don't have to use the, tra the uh, trade finder right here, but Sadiq Bay, I like this a lot for him right there. But we're also going to go on small forward. We're going to go to the Orlando Magic. And I like from the Orlando Magic. Where's he at, man? Orlando Magic. I like Franz Wagner here. So Franz here, 80 overall, 21 years old, on the younger side for sure. You guys can always get Mo Bamba potentially in a package. James Wiseman, Jordan Poole, both really, really young guys. Uh, you know, I don't really want to trade a uh, pool party right here, but he's a guy that you guys can potentially pick up right here. So if you guys can get him, I definitely recommend getting him. He's a great, great, great when it comes to uh, franchises for sure. So he is relatively easy to get to. So I will say, um, so yeah, he's definitely one that you guys should be looking into picking up for your, for your teams. Next up for power four, we're going to the New York Knicks. I know a lot of people don't like this guy necessarily. Come on, where's the New York Knicks? Come on, I just had him. There we go. Uh, I'm looking at Julius Randle right here. So, not you know, he's on the older side. He's 27. He is on a three-year deal, though. So, you guys have him under contract for a while. But so you guys can give up, like, Andrew Wiggins right here if you guys want, who's another guy on a one-year super, super heavy deal and is getting a little bit older in age. Although, you are trading for someone a little bit older in age in Julius Randle. So, I'm not sure if I would do that deal. But uh, Draymond Green, definitely way too old. Costing 25 mil a year. That's insane. Uh, he's probably someone I would trade if I was the Warriors. Uh, you know, so that's not a terrible deal. I don't think Kevin Looney, Draymond Green at 27 first round pick for Mitchell Robinson too, who's on a four year deal, Julius Randle. You're getting those, uh, you know, those Knicks big men 
Not bad at all. I like Mitchell Robinson a lot too. Super tall, he can grab a lot of boards for you. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of liking these guys a lot, man. So, Mitch Robinson can also finish a little bit too. So, yeah, I'm liking this uh, trade right here, honestly. Draymond Green, Kevin Looney, 27 first round pick. Julius Randle, Mitch Robinson. I don't think that's a bad deal really at all. Moving on to power forward though, we are going to the Spurs. Here we go. We have the Spurs here. I'm looking at Kelvin Johnson. If you guys like shooting three-pointers, Kelvin Johnson, he's your guy. I love me some Kelvin Johnson, man, for real. Uh, Clay Thompson, you know, uh, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green. You know, I think definitely it's got to be Kaminga here, come bucket, or uh, Draymond Green. This isn't a season of a bad deal. You're also getting a 74 overall. I guess he's like a, you know, 12th man on your team, but uh, Draymond Green, Mac Mullins, or Mulkling, whatever you want to say. Uh, I think he, this isn't a bad deal at all, man. I would definitely love Kel Kelton Johnson for sure. He's a great three-point shooter. He's 82 overall already. He's only 23. Kelton Johnson could potentially be a great, great pickup for you guys. It's from my number one uh, power forward for sure on the list. And then we're going to the Milwaukee Bucks finally for the uh, centers here. And I like actually both centers here. You guys can go with either Brooke Lopez or you guys can go with Bobby Portis in here. So Bobby Portis here. Um, and Brooke Lopez, both of these guys are absolute studs. They'll play really, really well for you guys. You guys can get them for really, really cheap as well. Like Kevin Looney, James Wiseman, uh, Dante, James Wiseman, Jermichael Green, Draymond Green, Moses Moody, James Wiseman. It's a lot of pretty good deals for Brooke Lopez. You guys can even maybe get Grayson Allen, Pat Connington, any of those guys. Um, even Beer Champ, you guys can pick up from uh, the Bucks, who's a rookie, I believe, as well. So, you know, there's a couple of good guys you guys can pick up right there for Brooke Lopez. If you guys are trying to go a little bit younger though, because Brooke Lopez is 34 years old, definitely. But so you guys can pick up Bobby Portis, man, who is 27 years old. He just signed a three-year deal. So he's a little bit younger, uh, but it's still kind of old, I will say. But he is on a three-year deal. Everyone loves some Bobby Portis too, man. So although he had James Wiseman in a 27 second round pick, and you guys can also get a 27 first round pick for this right here. So you are going up in age, but you're giving you're getting more of a proven guy that can grab a lot of boards. Um, and you're also getting a first round pick in exchange. So that's not a terrible deal, I don't think. I'll be Moses Mooney and uh, Kevin Looney right here for Bobby Portis and Abaka. So I kind of like this deal a lot. This is probably one that I would definitely send through is Modus Moody, Moses Moody and Kevin Looney for Bobby Portis and uh, Abaka right here. So I kind of like this deal right here. This is probably one that I would be looking into, although you are sacrificing the young age right here and getting a little bit older guys. But there were some younger guys on this list that I think you guys could pick up to kind of make your team a little bit younger, really overall. So these are some of the guys that I definitely recommend picking up in NBA 2K23 franchise mode, the easiest and the best players to trade for. Just to recap here, man, I like DeJounte Murray at point guard, Benedict Matherin at shooting guard, at small forward, I like Sadiq Bey and Franz Wagner. And then I also like at power forward, Julius Randle and Kelvin Johnson, and at center, Brooke Lopez and Bobby Portis from Milwaukee Bucks. So it's a lot of very, very good options on this list for you guys for really any position, point guard, shooting guard, power forward, any of those guys, man. Uh, definitely you can pick up some of these let me know your favorite players to trade for and the easiest players to trade for down in the comments below that you guys have found so far in nba 2k23 i'm sure there are some other easier and better guys to trade for but this is just a general list that i've found really really early in nba 2k23 that are pretty easy to trade for it can also give you guys a lot of value whether it's age or just really good overall it can bump your overall a little bit up or just really play pretty well like benedict matherin that's gonna do it if you guys are new please subscribe to the channel right here we are super close now to 17,000 subscribers check this video up here that youtube is recommended for you